así que criticás. Bueno, escribo críticas de películas. Cinco años tardé en hacerla yo. Soy un intermediario entre las películas y el público. ¿Vos? Cinco minutos en destrozarla. Gracias a mi trabajo, la gente puede discernir una obra de arte de un producto menor. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. Matt, Christy, Alonso, Ben, we're going to do a little bit of navel gazing here. We're talking about a movie called The Film Critic. How meta is that? Alonso, please describe it to uh, you. Yes, new movie from Argentina. It is not about Jay Sherman, sadly. Uh, <laughs> it stinks. Uh, exactly. No, it's about a guy who is divorced and looking for an apartment and... Uh, does not care for romantic comedies and then suddenly discovers that he's in one. Take a look. Una fórmula cerrada, una pareja con química, encuentros casuales, forzados, ridículos. Ella que siempre sale de la nada como por arte de magia. No entendemos qué es lo que ella le ve. En la vida real ni se mirarían. Pero acá el género manda y todo deja de tener sentido. El mundo es de ellos y su romance. Agregale unos personajes secundarios algo grotescos, violines para las escenas románticas y un desencuentro a causa de un malentendido. No te olvides de poner lluvia, mucha lluvia. Y al final una corrida. No sabemos por qué ni para qué, pero siempre corren. Y por supuesto, un monólogo perfecto para lograr el obvio happy end con un beso largo y empalagoso. Suficiente. Hicieron un trabajo, una maldición. Estoy atrapado en un género al que no pertenezco. ¿Entendés a lo que me refiero? Sí. No. ¿Cómo? ¿Por dónde salgo de acá? Uh, you know, I have to say, I was expecting this to be a lot of pot shots at film critics, <laughs> which filmmakers like to do. I like the fact that the douchiest character in the movie is a is a petulant filmmaker who is upset about having gotten a bad review. That's never happened to me, by the way. <laughs> no one has ever stalked me and me made my life miserable because of a review. No. Also, something this movie gets wrong, there are never pastries and coffee. I know. Well, maybe in Argentina there, there are. Argentina they should start are. doing that. <laughs> yeah. Would, yeah. Maybe we get like I a little that, miniature I'd be in a better twist. state of mind. I that think. screening room was a depressing place, though. That, it was pretty grim. Yeah, it was pretty grim. <laughs> um, I thought it took some pot shots at, at critics. Oh, no, I'm not saying we get off scot-free, yeah. but, but like I said, the worst character was a filmmaker. The director yeah. is a film critic himself, though, making a movie about film critics. Uh, mm. That's right, yeah, he's a former, he's a former critic. And, and this, this is his first film? I think his yeah. first, at least, feature. feature yeah. Um, I, I liked uh, the first uh, two-thirds of it uh, significantly better than the, than the last third. Um, like when I, you know, look, I, I, when he discovers his the hating romantic comedies and the, you know, I, when the fireworks go off, when he kisses the girl <laughs> right. and looks up like, no way, and he's kind of right? <laughs> I, you know, I, I thought that was, I, there was a bunch of those moments and there's some, there's some movie references in the, in the dialogue too. Mm. There's a, you know, he, cause he says to the girl at one point, you know, you complete me, you know? uh, and, 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 and then, and, and then it kind of works. Yeah, what? And he's sort of and waiting to see if it's going right, to totally. play yeah. and it does. Yeah, and then he, uh, um, yeah, it's just, I, that stuff all seemed to sort of, I, I, I liked it. I thought that was kid. He, he's, his voiceover narration, he thinks in French. Mm -hmm. Right. Because right. he doesn't think what, he's a Spanish. He thinks Spanish is too judgmental or something. Right, 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 <laughs> for, for voiceover narration. He can't help it, and sort of his thing is happening inside his head that he, he doesn't like, and he's, he can't, everything, it's not just movies that he is applying the same sort of harsh criticism to, he's applying it in life with the way people talk to him, the way people interact, the decisions they make. It's like he's constantly reviewing a movie. But then when the things actually started to happen, when it had to be its own movie, uh, then I, I grew I grew less interested in the in that relationship than in his circumstances. Yeah, there's some, there's some banter that's really fun. His niece works at a video store. Mm -hmm. right. And so they have a, a good time making fun of all these movies. And she she's an idealist, and she buys into the, the romance and the hype of it all. And that relationship is kind of fun and has nice energy to it. He's not a very interesting guy. I mean, he is, as far as a, someone to hold on to. I mean, he's, he's a dud and he's misanthropic, but not even in an interesting way. He's not a bit in of an a engaging lump, yeah. way. There's not a whole lot to him. So it's not a whole lot of, for me at least, there was not a whole lot of emotional engagement. Um, and then it takes a total turn in the third act and becomes a completely different kind of movie that does not work nearly as well. So okay. It's much more dramatic out of nowhere. I don't know, I kind of like that, actually. Did you? Like, okay. I, I didn't like the first act of this. This is the weird movie that I feel like, for me at least, it ended better than it started. Mm -hmm. I, the beginning of it I thought was kind of muddled. I wasn't really sure where it was going, and it was kind of just there. Like, I wasn't all that interested, even up to the point where he breaks down kind of all of the tropes in a romantic comedy. Um, but then as it 
progresses and things start to happen to him, I like that. And then there's a moment where he and another critic buddy of his start talking about he's trapped in this genre. Mm -hmm. And it takes on this weird meta commentary that that's where I thought it got really interesting as he's writing this script of, you know, as he's writing a script for his brother-in-law or, or his sister's boyfriend or whatever, this producer, and there's elements of what's happening in his life, and you can see the checklist of all of the things that happened that he set up earlier, and I thought it all kind of worked. And I, I, I'm kind I of, think it delivered on that, and I'm that's where of, I liked it. I'm kind of between y'all. Like, I, I, I don't think it gets better as it goes along, but I did, it kept me interested in the at the end part because of those little gags that were set up earlier. I liked, there's this There's this great random gag where he is so sort of besotten in love at one point that he gives this rapturous review to a shitty movie. Yeah, right. And then there's that's this funny. gag where like, they're wheat pasting posters with his giant yeah. quote on it, like <laughs> everywhere he goes. Right, and all his critics <laughs> buddies are making fun of him. Yeah. 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 Right. But the girl who makes it feel that way is like the quintessential manic pixie dream totally. girl. Which is funny too, like there are definitely like things yeah. in these genres that they get right and they make fun well, of well. And she yeah. says something like, let's go out and he's like, ugh. The montage. And then it cuts to them shot. Right. Um, and she's got a quirky thing. Yeah, I liked all that. Yeah, that was all, that just all struck me sort of before the last 30 minutes. But maybe not. I just, I, I lost interest a little bit. Like, I was pretty into it. I didn't hate the end. I just was, I, I lost, he, he did something, like, whatever, this is, this is as nitpicky as I'm going to get. Mm. Like, Matt is wearing a, a, a collared shirt and a V-neck sweater and then a blazer. And that's what this guy wore in every scene, except... He also oh, no, and a t-shirt. And a t-shirt. That's four layers. It well, drove me gets, crazy. Well, and then when you see without a shirt, Nobody, nobody right. can wear four layers. But then I felt you, claustrophobic watching this guy. But what do you wear you with, I don't know, not four. <laughs> three. Or the, the fourth can be a coat that you take off when you go inside. <laughs> but he's leaving everything on the inside. But the and irony he's is he's a that, big furry dude. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what and I was trying to say. I'm sorry. I'm like, he's sweating. Like, you can't wear a t-shirt with that. You can't do it. No. Yeah. All right, what are your numbers? Nitpicky, Ben. Not What's your number? I was going to give it a 6.6, six, six, but the wardrobe takes it to a 6.4. Please, six, four. you got to be honest here. Uh, and I, the patches I, on his elbows. He's very tweedy. I'm a yes. 7. I thought it was fun. 6. 8. Okay, so our average I liked is 6.9. We like ourselves, so we like a movie about <laughs> ourselves. Bye.